What's up YouTube? This is going to be the second part of how to make snake using uh, Python curses. Um, now this part, you might have noticed last time I ran this, it the snake just kind of grew bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it eventually met its doom. So what I want to do is I want to make it so that instead of the snake just growing, you know, infinitely, um, we could actually have it um, just moving. So what I want to do is I have this list called body, which for now is just the head, which is just a bunch of copies of the head, like five of them. So what I'm going to do here is for Z, for Z in range, and I'm going to start with length of the body, um, minus one. And then I'm going to go, I don't want to include 0 because that will come into play later. And I want to decrease by 1 each time. So then body of z equals body of z minus 1. So basically I'm taking everything in our head, in our body list, and I'm going to shift it over. And these are going to be all the coordinates that are in the body. And then... Um, what I want to do is uh, uh, how about I call it dead cell equals um, body minus one and then um, what I'm going to do here is if dead cell not in body um, screen dot add ch dead cell zero dead cell one and a space now the reason I have this is um, we're gonna want this snake to grow so we don't always want this to be the case so I'll show you how that comes into play later on when we when we add food. So uh, and then I want uh, body zero equals head. Let me just make sure I did this right. I think I want to include this part here, which is uh, copy, because some funky stuff can happen if you don't do that. So let's see how that works. Oops. Uh, let's do dead cell equals body minus one. Oops. Copy. No, I gotta close on it. <laughs> there we go. And now we have a snake that is moving nicely and not infinitely growing, which is awesome. Oh, I also might want to move this screen dot move. And then oh Dims equals screen dot get max y x. Screen dot move dims zero minus one dims one minus one. Now in reality, I wish I could use curses dot set equals zero, but my terminal doesn't support that. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to deal with the little rectangle right there. So now, um, let's see, oh, now the fun part, I'm going to make it so that uh, the user can change direction if he or she pleases. So um, right here. Let's actually call this before that stuff happens. 
Actually, I don't know. I'll figure this out. There we go. So let's call action equals screen dot get ch. Oh, let me turn the keypad on. Is it curses dot keypad? Hold on, give me a sec. Oh, it's screen dot keypad. Screen dot keypad one. So action. If action equals versus dot key up. Now let's say if, and let's actually just put this also in the conditional. And direction not equal to one, which is down, then direction equals three. Elif action equals curses dot key down and direction not equal to three, then direction yeah, I can't spell equals one. Now let's repeat this for left and right. Action equals curses dot key right and direction not equal to Two, which means it's going left. Direction equals two. Left action equals curses that key left and direction not equal to two. No. Zero. Oh wait, I don't know why I did that. Bad. Okay. Direction equals two. Let's see how that breaks. Eh, I can't spell it. And now I can move around freely. And I just ran into myself there, as you can see. So now we have collision with ourselves. So yeah, um, this is looking pretty good so far. Um, that'll be all for this video. I will see you all in the next tutorial.